Hey guys, it's Seth Riley here with the Whitehead Mastermind Show, and this is episode number 18. Okay, and what we're, we're doing throughout this series is I'm teaching you how to use the Enfold theme step by step. So in the first video, I did the Enfold overview. In the second video, I talked about color coordinating and how you can use colors to really uh, make your site look nice and, and not so busy to where it's not... Uh, very hard to read, and it, you know you're not squinting when you're looking at your website. So if you have if you haven't been following along in this series, make sure you guys refer to the first uh, two videos in this uh, series and start from the beginning because throughout this series we're really getting in depth and I walk you step by step through this whole entire process. Okay, so in this series we're actually going to be talking about the main menu navigation, the sidebar navigation, and the footer navigations with the Enfold theme. And I'm really going to take you in deep and show you how to use um, menu navigation to your advantage, okay? And also teach you how to understand it as well. So if we scroll back over to the admin dashboard, the first thing we want to do is scroll down to appearance, click on menus. Now, we already created a single menu for the main menu, okay? And what we want to do is we want to create two more menu navigations. We want to create a menu navigation for the secondary menu which would go above the header we can also create a menu navigation for the footer as well and I'm going to show you where those are located in just a second so as you can see right here we have the main enfold menu navigation then we have the second menu navigation and then the footer menu navigation but we haven't created these menus yet okay so what we want to do, uh, we're going to scroll back over to the main site. As you can see, we have the home, blog, about, contact us page. I want to make sure that we have enough pages on this site to where we can have all these um, specific menus, okay? So I'm going to scroll over to pages, and I'm going to create another page called services. So just type in services and hit publish. I'm also going to add a page called resources. Just click on add new page hit publish and then I'm going to create another page called products hit publish and then for the footer I want to create two specific legal pages the terms of service page and the privacy policy so I'm going to go ahead and add those now And then the last page we're going to add is Terms of Service. Hit Publish. And now I'm confident that we have enough pages to make a main menu navigation, a secondary menu navigation, a sidebar uh, navigation, and also a footer navigation. So I'm going to scroll over to Appearance, scroll down to Menus, and I'm actually going to add the products and resources and services to the main menu. And, you know, the placement of your menu navigation is pretty important as well. You want to make it easier for your uh, viewers to navigate through your site. And I always like to put the home page first. And I always like to put the contact, uh, contact us page last. Okay? And then you can kind of choose what uh, pages are, are the most important in that specific order. So for me, like my blog would probably be the second most important page. And then uh, my resource page and probably my services, okay? Some people like to put their About Me page right next to their home page. I personally don't like to do that because honestly, I think people are more interested in uh, what I can do for them opposed to uh, maybe me, I don't know. <laughs> I guess it really just depends on what you wanna do, guys. And then go ahead and hit Save Menu. Now, if we're gonna create a secondary menu navigation, we can do that, but um, you know, what a secondary menu navigation usually is good for, maybe if you have a membership site, you want to put like my account, uh, a menu item there, or contact us, or a support menu item. And, you know, we can go ahead and do that, and I'll show you how that works. So if we're going to create a secondary menu navigation, the first thing I want to do is get rid of the contact us on the main menu navigation, and also the about. I'll put those in the secondary menu navigation for now. Hit save changes. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a new menu right here, and I'm just going to call it Secondary Menu. Hit Create Menu, and then you just want to come over here, hit View All, and you can simply drag and drop, I'm sorry, check 
which pages you would like to display in your second menu navigation. So I'll do the contact us page, the about page, and let's try the register and add those to my secondary menu navigation. I always like to put the contact on the, the far right, that's just my personal preference, totally up to you. And then we'll put the register registration link on the far left. Hit save changes. And we created our legal pages, so what we want to do is create another menu for the footer. We'll call it the footer menu. Keep everything very simple, guys. That way, if you're working on your site, you know where your menus are, or if you have a developer working on your site, they're not confused of what the different names of your menus are. Don't try to be all sophisticated, just say what they are. We're going to go ahead and add the terms of service, privacy policy, and we'll do a home page and also contact us link for the, the footer menu navigation as well. So we want to go ahead and add those. As you can see, I can't find the contact us item, so I got to click view all. And then there it is right there. Uh, select it, add it to the main menu navigation. I like to put the home page on the far left, contact on the right, and we'll have the terms of service and privacy policy in the center. Hit save changes. Now optionally, let's scroll back over to the site. I'm gonna go to the blog. If you have a specific menu that you would like to uh, display on your blog, you can do that right here. The Enfold theme allows you to have custom sidebars for all the different pages on your site. So maybe you want a custom sidebar for your product page or if you want one for your services page, you could do that as well. We'll go ahead and create a custom sidebar for the blog for now, okay? And one nice thing you can do is in your widget area, you can display custom menus in your sidebars, okay? So if you wanted to create a sidebar specific menu, you could do that. And we'll go ahead and do that right now to show you how it's done. Select create a new menu. And of course, what do we call this, guys? Sidebar. <laughs> sidebar menu, right? That's what it is. Call it what it is. Hit uh, create menu. And then from here, we can create a specific menu based off of what we want people to see when they're reading the blog. So probably for this example, I'm going to use products, resources, services, maybe refuse tube, which is our YouTube page, and maybe the about. We'll go ahead and add those to the sidebar menu navigation. And you can drag and drop them in any order you want. Also for the sidebar, it's nice to note that you can have sub menu items as well. So if you wanted to offset it a little, you could do that by just offsetting it and dragging and dropping it where you want it. But obviously, uh, we don't have a ton of menu items, so we'll just keep them all uh, main category menu items for now. Hit Save Changes, and then we want to scroll back over to Manage Locations. And now we have a secondary menu we can display for the Enfold secondary menu navigation. Select that. Also your footer menu navigation. We call it the footer menu navigation, or footer menu, that's what it is. Select that, hit save changes. Everything's very easy to read. Uh, you guys are following along. Everything's very simple, I hope. Now that we've done that, we can go back over and refresh our page. Actually, I'm gonna click on home page. So we've changed the menu items around on the main menu. So right off the rip, what do you see? Well, you don't see a secondary menu navigation like you should. I mean, we have the admin menu navigation, but for viewers of the site, they're not gonna see the menu, uh, the, or the admin toolbar. They're gonna see the secondary menu. So we can actually choose whether we wanna display a secondary menu in the Enfold settings for the header. Now let's scroll down to the bottom. As you can see, we have our homepage, terms of service, privacy, and contact us. But we also have powered by Enfold default over here. And so we want to add our own copyright to this site, and we want to get rid of the Powered by Enfold link. So if we scroll back over here, the first thing we'll do is go to Enfold, uh, select Header, and you can choose how you want to position your, your logo and your main menu navigation. If we select Extra Elements, you can choose to add social icons, your phone number. We'll add social icons to the top left. And then we'll also add a secondary menu to the, the far right. Hit Save Changes. Now if we scroll back over to the site and hit Refresh, you can see we now have a secondary menu navigation with our social icons here in the top left. And then we have our secondary menu navigation items here in the far right. Looks very nice, doesn't it? We also appended the search uh, navigation to the main menu. If you select that, you can see that you can add your search term here and search for it globally on the site.
If we scroll down to the bottom, you can see we still have the power by Enfold text. So if you scroll over to the Enfold admin area, select footer, and in the copy, you want to make sure that you copy and paste this right there, the copyright uh, refuse.com, and then also you want to put like a short code bracket and put no link with another bracket on the end. Hit save changes, and that no link option is going to get rid of that Enfold, powered by Enfold uh, link in the bottom of your, your footer. I'm sorry, this is actually the socket the socket uh, navigation, if you will. So you can see we have copyrightrefuse.com, we have the home, uh, service, uh, terms of service, privacy, and contact us. So the site's starting to look pretty good. We have the secondary menu navigation, and now what we wanna do is scroll over to the blog page, and we're gonna add a blog-specific menu navigation. So if you scroll to sidebar settings here, you can choose where you wanna display uh, what side you want your sidebars to be displayed on. So if you wanted for the blog page to display the sidebar on the left, you could do that and we'll see what that looks like. So as you can see, we have the sidebar on the left now and we'll go ahead and customize the, the menu as well. If you scroll down to appearance and click on widgets, we can create a custom uh, sidebar here, okay? And we'll just call it the blog sidebar navigation okay hit add widget as you can see we have our custom sidebar here and if you scroll down remember we created a, a sidebar specific menu now if you scroll down to custom menus right here this is a WordPress default widget just to let you know if we grab the custom menu drag it and drop it into our custom area you can simply append which menu that we created uh, to the sidebar here on the blog site on the blog site okay and i'll show you how to actually uh, append the the custom menu navigation to the blog page specifically okay but if we just click on uh, sidebar menu navigation give it a title sidebar navigation obviously you'd probably want something a little more interesting uh, you know if you're doing a live site but hit save changes if we come back over here and refresh, you can see that nothing has changed. Well, that's because we never assigned the blog page, the blog list page, I should say, that custom menu, okay? And you can do that on a per page basis with the Enfold theme. So if we get, go back over to our um, admin area, click on pages, we wanna go to the blog page, of course, select edit, and then what you wanna do is scroll down to sidebar, and you can choose whether you want it on left or right or no sidebar, um, on a per page basis as well as on a global scale as well. Um, and then you have your sidebar uh, custom menus here. And as you can see, the blog sidebar navigation is right here. We can simply select that, come up here, hit update, go back over to the blog page, hit refresh. And as you can see, um, it's not displaying yet. And there's one last thing we need to do. So. By default, Enfold will display uh, specific widgets in any sidebar on your site if you do not have uh, widgets in your specific custom uh, sidebar navigation, okay? So what we need to do is go back over to the widget area, click on widgets, and we wanna make sure that we drop a few uh, custom widget elements in the sidebar, okay? Another thing to note is that the display anywhere sidebar, you can go ahead and remove these widgets if you don't want, like, a global sidebar, but most people would probably just be fine with a global sidebar, but I wanna give you guys options, okay? And we'll go ahead and add a calendar here, and we'll also add the Enfold combo widget. Okay, and that's how you can add a custom menu uh, to any, any page you want on your website. So if we scroll back over here and go to the home page. You can see that we have the secondary menu navigation in the top. We also have our, our uh, main navigation here as well. And we have our footer menu navigation with the terms of service and privacy policy links in it. Um, one last thing before we move on to the next uh, lesson. I actually wanna show you how to add sub menu navigations to your main menu, okay? So if we scroll back over here and go to menus, you're gonna do it from the, uh, the WordPress menu uh, area, if you will, the menu admin area. And we wanna select our main navigation here, and then right here's a button that says select. Go ahead and select it. 
And we can simply drag and drop specific pages under each one of these main categories. So we'll do it under the resource page. We'll just offset these here, just as an example to show you. Hit save changes. Come back over to your main site and hit refresh. So if you scroll over resources, you can see that we have three submenu navigation items right here. And it looks really nice. It has this nice uh, red line underneath or at, on the bottom, I should say, of the header, which makes it very nice. It's styled very well. I mean, out of the box, the Enfold theme looks very nice. I mean, there's not just a, there's not that much stuff you guys need to do to really get it, get it uh, looking really good. So uh, make sure you guys stay tuned for the next video because we're going to actually be building a couple pages from scratch, okay? And I'm going to show you how to use the Enfold Visual Editor. I hope you guys enjoyed this series so far, and I look forward to being there for you um, just as a resource for WordPress and also online marketing. Make sure you guys subscribe to my show on iTunes, and also check out my forum if you guys have any questions. Also, also feel free to go to my Ask Seth page and uh, ask me any questions via voicemail, okay? Thank you for watching. Take care.